Hey, what's up, y'all? In honor of the University of Memphis, even though I'm in San Diego State, Aztec, I stay in Memphis. But Penny Hardaway's first game coaching as the head coach of the Tigers, Rebirth of a Tiger, Rough Feathers, the brand, made the shirt, checked them out, put the website and the link down here. Rough Feathers clothing. Memphis based. Shoes. Steph Curry. Let's get back in focus. Steph Curry, the, um, I'm going to call these the Steph Curry Air Force Ones, even though they're really just the NBA sport Air Force Ones. But in honor of hitting all of those threes, we got to call these the Steph Curry Air Force Ones. That's what they are. That's what they're going to be. Make sure my hand's not dirty because I've been messing with the furnace. So let's get into it. There goes your label. And it's the Air Force One 07 LV8 Sport. The color is University Gold. Black and white matches perfectly with your Steph Curry. All right, so um, <laughs> the style code is BV1168700. The SRP is $100. The UPC for a size 11 and a half, which is a size 13. And women's unisex sizing on the Nike boxes now. And notice the short length of the label. 11 and a half UPC 666032371923. There's a 16 at the end. All right, so we got our Nike Air on the top. We open this up, and man, our stamps are messed up. So we don't have a good stamp in here. I'm going to show it to you so you can see what the stamp looks like. That's our QC and our stamp all in one, and they're both messed up. And that's straight out of Nike. So. Hey, we get that sometimes. It is what it is. Let's go ahead and skip over. We know the paper has the stars on it. We fold that over and we're going to open this up. I guess this really isn't the Steph Curry. I guess it would be the Victor Oladipo because this is more of a Pacers colorway. However, I still think somebody that's a big Golden State fan could rock these all day. Or a Steelers fan. But it really is Pacers. So we should like start this whole video over. Nah. All right. So let's get to the size label because we don't have our date, so we can't check a lot of different stuff. The production date is 05-02-18-2-07-17-18. The code at the top is VF, and it's made in Vietnam. The small code at the bottom is 1084. I think that's six. It's a really blurred six five nine nine five. Now something that you know. I'm going to just get into briefly here. I put up a whole bunch of um, ASICs and Saucony videos, and the ASICs have two QC stamps, uh, stickers. The um, company takes a lot of pride in producing a quality product, and very often I'll get people that'll be like, I'm all Nike, I'm all Adidas, and um, I made it a point to talk about the fact that ASICs doing two checks on the shoe before it gets out limits the idea of having these kind of small splits and these frays and sometimes we know we have a lot of issues with Nike as far as quality control and strings and stuff hanging off but you know that's just me saying dude we gotta be a little bit more open to other brands and I know I'm saying that during a Nike video where I was really excited and saying Steph Curry at the beginning but keep it real Sometimes the quality control with Jordan and Nike is really short, and they only have one stamp, and no shoes had two. So we're back in focus, and I'm done running my mouth and get this 360 in. Here we go. It's not a bad leather on this, man. It's a nice shoe. You see the jersey piping around the bottom? There goes your toe box. It goes the top of the shoe, and that immediately shows you why it should be like a Pittsburgh Steelers or a Indiana Pacers colorway because I mean it's pretty evident I really like the reflective nature of the swoosh on this and um, somebody wrote me and asked me if it was plastic and I said it was TPU um, this feels like actually a fabric so I was wrong about that so whoever was watching this is really a fabric the swoosh is a fabric it's not plastic so just to make sure I'm right about that you can feel like ridges in it. If it's not, a, if it is a TPU, it's got these weird ridges in it. But I guess it gives. That's what gives it that reflective property. I'm gonna move it up real close so you can see it, just to make sure you can see it. And you have the embroidery around the swish. 
our soul, of course. And we're going to get to the heel because the heel counter is that reflective. So whatever that material is that's like on um playing cards, not playing cards, but like collector's cards. I don't know what that material is that makes that sound. But I don't know if that's plastic or it's coated or what. If anybody knows what that material is that's on like um, collecting cards, like NBA trading cards and stuff like that. Somebody let me know, man, because that's what the material is that's on the side of these shoes. It's like a um, NBA card or collector's card. Or like somebody collects cards. That's it. Finishing up much longer than it should have been. I shouldn't have been acting out at the beginning. So here we go. That's it.